Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and this is Heart and Hand Creations and Events. Today, guys, on this channel, I am going to do a project that is two years overdue. It already was started. It's halfway done. And I didn't know how to finish it off, but I figured it out. And if you want to see what I'm doing, stay tuned and I'll be back in two seconds. Alright guys, I am back with everything that I'm going to be using um, for this demonstration or for this DIY tutorial. This is the project. I showed you this in uh, one of my uh, recent videos. Um, this was an unfinished project that was done by a young lady. Her name, her channel is called Eat of Essentials. And you'll find a few, several videos with vases that she's made. Oh, this is the plaster that I was talking about. I couldn't do it. Plaster of Paris. That's what this is called. And I just could not get with it. It gets stiff too fast. You know, you, you have it. It's like milkshake. By the time you rub it on a couple times, you go back to dip in there. That stuff is, is, is like putty. So the way it's made is she used, well, she used paper roll, paper towel roll, empty paper towel roll. And I put a taller paper roll on top of mine because I wanted my base to be big. And what you do is you cut out your shape, the silhouette or shape of a vase like this. And it goes on here. And you glue multiple ones on. I'm going to show you. Demonstrate. I cut out four of them with the foam poster board. And that's it. And you just keep gluing them on. All the way around. And so, guys, you get the idea. And you just keep um, putting them around and around. Then you would either Mod Podge it or you would tape it up until it's all filled in like this. Right? And that's why this looks like that on the bottom. Same as this would be if it was full with more boards. Yep. So now this will be another project for another time to do something with that. And there we go. All right, so to finish this off, guys, what I have is a mirror that I'm going to clean off. This is going to go on top like that. This is going to be a plant stand. I decided to turn this into a plant stand. I also have this nautical rope, decorative nautical rope that I bought in my first vlog, Dollar Tree vlog. So I have nine packs of this. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Hopefully it is. I tried to buy, I bought, a, I bought them all. I also have some gold leafing paper. Craft Bond Spray On Glue. Shiny black um, spray paint. And I also have a matte. I think I'm going to use the matte. I'm not, I don't think I'll be using the, the shiny shiny, but I'll be using the matte. And I also have gold spray paint. And these are just options because if if I do a part and this gold leafing paper isn't doing the thing, then I'll be going to the gold spray paint. And I have these hot glue sticks. These are the uh, Walmart brand. But I do have my gorillas, y'all. This glue should be fine for this project because this twine material 
and paper will stick really good together with this glue. All right, guys, I found something for the bottom. This is a candle holder plate. Oh, and it fits right in here perfectly. Bingo. great and plus it'll give it some weight all right guys so i have my glass candle holder tray on the bottom here glue this in place so i'm going to start right here there we go first layer on the bottom I'm going to keep it moving around. All right, guys, this is how far I have gotten. The nine that I had is not going to be enough, but this thing is feeling like a vase now. Yeah. Really feeling like and sounding like a bass. So right here is where it stops, guys. I'll see you guys when I get more rope. All right, guys, we're at another Dollar Tree over here in Cherry Hill. They got rope girl over here in the corner behind the box and I'm taking all four of them yep hiding behind the box all right guys I found what I'm looking what I am looking for so I guess I'll see you guys back at the house okay guys you see I made it back from the store and so I came back from Dollar Tree with five more packs of the 9.5 feet long uh, nautical rope and it took nine to do this much so with five and nine that's 14 it's going to take 14 I believe to finish this off so let's get to the business at hand Okay, guys, this is the finished portion of the rope being wrapped around this base. So I'm still trying to think of what to do with the top part of this. I got the bottom situated. Now I'm thinking of what to do with the top. So if you guys hang in there with me for a moment, give me a second and I'm going to figure it out and I'll be right back. Here is where I apply the first coat of spray paint and the next day I did the second coat of spray paint. Alright guys, as you just saw, I finished putting the second coat of spray paint on the vase and actually it was still a little tacky from last night and uh, um, started this thing on Friday. Didn't have enough nautical rope. Went to the store on Saturday, which was yesterday. Bought the rope, finished wrapping the vase. Put that first coat of spray paint on it. Now today is Sunday. I put the second coat of spray paint on. I'm gonna have to let it dry really well. The, the idea is to use this gold 
uh, gold leafing paper. And I have this mirror to sit on top because this is going to be for, um, because it's actually a plant stand base. And, um, and it will be heavy enough the way it's made. It'll be, um, uh, sturdy enough and strong enough to fit, to sit a heavy plant on, which I will demonstrate. All right, guys, I am back. I have the second coat of paint on the vase. I taped down the bottom. I mean, I taped down the top with some clear packing tape, and I just put that on since the uh, newspaper was under it, and then I sealed it with glue around the edges. And you can hear that this is still tacky and sticky. So instead of me using, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to try to spray glue or not. But um, I want to try the gold leafing. I don't know if it's going to work on this surface, but we are about to see. And like I said before, if it doesn't work out exactly, we will go to using the um, Rust-Oleum spray paint. Yep, see what that does. Uh, anyway, this is trial and error. And like I said, since this is already sticky and tacky, I don't know. Maybe I should just go ahead and try to... Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to spray a little something. Put you on mark so you can see what I am doing up in here, which is, I'm not even sure. But this is the gold leafing paper. And I'm just going to press, press it on. I'm just going to put some random pieces because I really don't want it to look that squared off. But we'll see what it looks like once I start brushing, brushing it off. Now, what I'm about to do now is take a brush and I'm going to see what brushes off. We'll see what it do. And I'm just going to brush it in the direction of the um, rope. And you know, guys, what I was saying about the spray is that I didn't know if I wanted to spray it because um, it's tacky already from the paint being, you know, it's already tacky from the paint. It's like sticky. So this has to have something sticky to cling to. And that's why I decided to put it on the way I did without uh, the spray. And I only sprayed that. You saw that I only sprayed that one spot. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is the back side. I still have more of these pieces. And I just, like I said, randomly putting them on.
All right, guys. So now that I have uh, the mirror on place, and like I said before, these edges are not evenly round. They're not as perfectly round as the mirror, but to do something about this space that's in between here, we can still see the glue shiny. I'm going to put these gold pearls. These gold pearls, I think, will be a great addition to this situation. in place all right guys so i'm sitting here looking at this and uh i think i want to do something else to it do some more embellishing even though it looks pretty pretty good like this i want to do something else with the top portion since it's going to be a plant stand so what I decided to do is put some rows of these beads all the way around. Yep, that's what I'm going to do, guys. And I just keep putting them, them on to determine where and how short I want it. And that's what I'll be doing all the way around, guys. But anyway, I found some gold flat glass gems and I'm going to just line them up around the top. So here it is guys, the vase is all is complete. And here is the final result guys. Look at her. Isn't it beautiful? This plant stand turned out very nice. Here it is from another view or angle. With this pretty red vase on top. And here it is, guys, with something much heavier. Like I said, I would demonstrate a heavier pot or plant. And this is a clay pot with soil that has just been watered so it's plenty heavy and the vase plant holder is holding up very well look at it sparkle very pretty so guys if you like the content in my video today give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and welcome to my new subscribers also don't forget to tap the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will know. And don't forget to share and comment below, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.